The TCS3200 is a color sensor module that can be used to determine the color of an object. In this how-to, we will learn how to use this module on a particle photon. For this how-to video, you will need the following. A particle photon, a TCS3200 module, a breadboard, and a micro USB B cable. The TCS3200 is a simple IC that contains multiple photodiodes, which can detect green, red, blue, and white light. When the term TCS3200 is used, it typically refers to the module as a whole. The output of the 3200 is a square wave whose frequency is directly proportional to the light intensity, and only one color can be read at any one time. The color that is desired is chosen using pins S2 and S3. The frequency of the output depends not only on the light intensity, but the frequency setting that is selected using pins S0 and S1. The nominal maximum frequency is 600 kHz, with the lowest being 12 kHz and the specific options for pins S0 and S1 are shown on the table. The output of the 3200 is gated with the OE pin, meaning this pin controls whether or not the module is able to send data out or not. When this pin is low, the module can output its signal from the chosen color, and if this pin is high, then the output is high impedance. Unfortunately, not every sensor has a library, and this is an example of that. This means that any code written here is from scratch, so it is important to understand how it works. To use the sensor, we first need to set the pins S0 and S1 to choose the frequency scaling. While the photon is capable of measuring very fast signals, the best frequency setting to use for the photon is the 20% setting, which means we need to set S0 high and S1 low. In order to read data, we first need to set the pin OE to low, which enables the 3200. This is something that can be set in the setup function and forgotten about. Choosing the colors to read from either red, green, or blue is done by setting the pins S2 and S3, but this is tedious to write each code again for every single color change. Therefore, it is better to create a function that allows us to use more readable code. The easiest way to read the output frequency of the out pin on platforms that use standard Arduino libraries such as Photon and Uno is to use the pulse in function. This function will measure the time taken for a signal on an I.O. pin to change state and return a number that is equal to the number of microseconds taken. The second parameter in the pulse in function is whether we're measuring the time from high to low or low to high. But since the 3200 output has a duty cycle of 50%, it doesn't matter. As ambient light can change and light intensity varies considerably depending on your environment, the code requires calibration before it can be used. Before the main application is executed or programmed, the sensors need to be mounted onto its desired location and from there, color cards should be scanned with their numbers printed onto a terminal. These numbers represent the highest and lowest values for each color sensor. The easiest calibration method uses a white card and a black card as these measures the extremes for all colors at the same time. The code shown can be used to dump the raw value for each color. With a maximum and minimum values obtained, these values need to be mapped to a range, preferably between 0 and 255. To make things easier, we will use an Arduino map function which does all of this automatically. The example shows how the function is used to map the minimum and maximum values onto a linear scale, and then scales this scale to a new scale. 